and we're live. Welcome to the 40th sprint review call of the Common Stack. And this was a good one. This was one of the best. Uh, let's just get right into it and I'll share a screen. And of course, let's not wait any extra moments to give the big announcement. The Commons Prize winner is Grassroots Economics. That was that's the big news. Honestly, everything else barely matters. No, that's not true. You could just send the call now. Don't even worry about it. No, uh, there, there's lots of other stuff going on, of course. But the Commons Prize was is our big thing. You know, hey, we're the Common Stack. We're launching Commons. We spent years on the token engineering Commons, and now the next Commons is going to be Grassroots Economics, and we couldn't be more excited about it. Uh, we did have some snafus on the voting. Uh, snapshot actually was being kind of weird for us, and uh, it just stopped working. We had like some kind of technical difficulties with the Gnosis RPC, uh, Gnosis Chain RPC, and Snapshot just stopped working. So we had to make two votes, which is really annoying because ranked choice voting is kind of like weird, uh, especially our special version of quadratic ranked choice voting. So, uh, so not to lose votes and make people... Uh, vote again. We actually did our own audit to combine the two votes that we had. So this spreadsheet is kind of a good transparent version to see it. We have all the results of the first vote uh, in this in this first tab. We have the results of the second vote in the second tab, and then we uh, deduped. We removed the people who have voted in both uh, both votes, and we only took their latest vote the last time they voted. Uh, so if they voted mostly in the second vote, then that was the, the vote that we took so that everyone, just like in normal snapshot, you can change your vote. Uh, so, but it, your last vote is what matters. So we made sure that that rule stuck. And uh, we calculated everybody's token holdings from Block Scout, and uh, we got the final results. It, uh, so uh, here, everybody's grassroots is one, gravity DAO is two, precious plus is three, AI commons is four, refi DAO is five. And uh, we actually manually calculated the, the ranked choice voting algorithm. And it's kind of cool to watch. So uh, in, in ranked choice, the, your first vote is all that matters. Uh, you, you rank in order. You pick your five uh, favorite projects and and uh, like say what order you prefer them in. And then uh, the algorithm, uh, once all the votes are set, uh, it removes the, the last place votes uh, until one vote, one, one choice has a majority support. So uh, it's a lot easier to watch. So in round one, here's the list of first place votes. So here's everybody's vo uh, votes, first, second, third, and fourth. Um, and we only count the first place votes though. So in first place votes, AI Commons came in last uh, actually. So then we remove them so that the people who chose AI Commons uh, for like this guy, uh, this person voted uh, with AI Commons as their preference. They, we just take out all the fours. So now their top preference is two, which is uh, Gravity Dow. So now, and you can see in round two, uh, there are no first place votes for AI Commons and all the fours were removed from this side and any uh, choice kind of just got moved up or in, I think it's in reverse, so moved up that way. And so now that we took out the fours, uh, Reef IDAO came in uh, last place and you can see AI Commons votes were mostly, no one uh, mostly split between Reef IDAO and Gravity DAO. So now refi DAO gets taken out and, uh, and, and grassroots economics almost had 50% majority, but not quite. It still only had 48% in round three. So now we have to remove gravity DAO. I was really hoping they'd get 50% there. So I won't have to do this last step. But uh, then when we remove gravity DAO, we get the final verdict, which is uh, grassroots economics with 60% of the first place votes and precious plastics with 40%. And, and boom, that, that's the ranked choice voting algorithm. So that was fun. Uh, and uh, yeah, and major shout out to, uh, to Pedro and Vitor who did it all in code and got the same results. But this is much more auditable by the community. And uh, in other news, uh, of course, we have the budgets. So uh, it's June 3rd. So on the first we, we of every month, we do the budgets with Rochelle. 
and uh, the trusted seed has hope it has about eighteen thousand dollars in its coffers, uh, but still has to pay some salaries. Uh, we expect to run out of money on August second, but this is a bad number because this month is the last month to do renewals. So definitely get out there, and if you haven't renewed your membership yet, uh, put that in, and that the that will give us a lot more context for our runway in the trusted seed. Uh, so next month we'll know way better about how many people renewed their membership and all of that. And uh, in the Common Stack community budget, uh, we have. Uh, let's see, I think it's better to do the summary. So here's here's where all our funds are in the common for the common stack. Uh, we have uh, about $16,000 in our community campaign and stables. Uh, we have about $67,000 total. And most, most of it is uh, coming from the Giveth Endowment and the Regen, uh, Regen Partnership Endowment, which actually... Um, I don't see it here. I think this is just being considered in commonstack.eth uh, because, uh, yeah, I think the, the money there is just in commonstack.eth. So, but yeah, that and those two streams are flowing. It's basically income. And depending on the give price and the region price, we make about $10,000 a month off of that, which is super cool. Uh, but of course, we have more salaries than that. So uh, we're, still, uh, we're still on pace to run out of money, unfortunately. And let me see the details on that. Uh, we're, we still have the funding to make it to uh, an estimated like mid-September. So don't be shy. Gitcoin Grants is coming up. Definitely donate to us. We need your support to stay alive. Uh, if you want to see grassroots economics thrive, support the Common Stack too. And with that, I'll pass it over to Tam to talk about probably more Commons Prize. Uh, yes, indeed. So yeah, we are all very excited about um, the, uh, well, the entire Commons Prize. There was so much engagement from our community. There was uh, so much excitement from um, the common stack team ourselves. Um, and the, um, we are, yeah, we're very thrilled that uh, Grassroots Economics will be our new partner in deploying the commons. They're a nonprofit organization that was founded in 2010. Um, their goal is empowering marginalized communities to take charge of their own livelihoods and economic future. Uh, community and in currency, uh, community and currency. Inclusion currencies uh, is one of the main ways that they do it, and they've had a lot of wild success in this so far. They really went over the hearts and the minds of Trusted Seed. A uh, quick recap for what happens with Trusted, I mean, with uh, Commons Prize. So this was the timeline. Uh, we had to extend it a little because of a little um, uh, trouble with a voting tool that we were using, um, which uh, was fixed very quickly, but caused us to restart the vote and then extend it a few days. Um, the, uh, there were 36 nominations and, uh, let's see, here it is. These were all of the communities that were nominated for the prize. So either stakeholders within the community or community members wanted to, uh, put these communities on the radar of the common stack and trusted seed. There were 95 unique voters in this first round and those 95 trusted seed chose the short list of finalists which ended up being these five grassroots economics, Gravity Dow, Precious Plastics, AI Commons, Algovera, and Refi Dow. And in this, uh, in this final, um, in this final vote, there were 91 unique voters. So we didn't quite get as many as the first rounds, but still we had an amazing amount of turnout. Uh, I have to give a lot of credit here to Usama. This was his first project for Common Stack, and he really knocked it out of the park. Um, so let's talk about what comes next. So now we will um, spend the next sprint um, organizing ourselves and having some communications with grassroots economics about uh, where we're going to move forward. Uh, we will have a kickoff meeting probably in the sprint after, uh, wherein we'll talk about initial our first phase, which is initialization. We'll do our kickoff meeting, work agreements, talk about the reward system, and eventually uh, launch the reputation down in that first phase. Uh, we'll talk more about this in future uh, in future reviews. 
And I also want to bring you um, three pretty exciting things from the TEC. The first is that the Graviton training has started, and it's not too late to join. Uh, the ending date is going to be the um, end of July, so the 26th of July. Um, it is probably one of the most popular things that happen in the TEC. Uh, every year, people get a lot of, um, just a lot of, um, um, how can I say this? A lot of development and learnings from participating in these series or even in just one of the sessions. So the next one coming up should be the 7th of June and it's Morgan Trauma Sensitive and Anti-Oppressive Culture, assessing, accessing our body as a tool for consent and connection. So do uh, hop into the TEC Discord for that uh, on the 7th. Uh, we also have Sampo's working group who posted their strategy uh, for advice process on the forum as well. Um, it outlines the different ways that the TEC and the Sampo working group specifically will be thinking about financial health and, um, and economic development for the TEC. And lastly, the stewards working group is undergoing a major transformation with now 15 stewards and 12 official working groups, two additional unofficial working groups. Um, we've scaled to a point where we're maybe hitting some confinements in the current uh, structures of the stewards working group and thinking about how to change it. Um, and that's all the news I have for the TEC for now. And with that, I'll pass to Olivia. Thank you, Tam. And congratulations to Grassroots Economics. So excited to work with them. And here I'll talk about something super exciting too, that is praise becoming a product. Finally, we worked so much to make this possible to turn um, all the experiences we had with praise in the common stack, give it, TEC into a concise uh, process that can be implemented in other communities. And shout out to Christopher who led um, the product management that made this uh, reality with all the team we're working with. So here we have a homepage for praise now, givepraise.xyz. And uh, you can understand what is praise what are the steps we have and a really cool feature that has been added to praise well it's a separate feature but it goes uh it's so complementary it's the rad dashboard so rewards analysis and distribution where uh, you can put the data sets you have for uh, reward systems so it can be not only praise but also other rewards like coordinate or source cred and um analyze all this data. So uh, we've been creating metrics and uh, visualizations, and then you can distribute the rewards based on uh, this analysis and the data input. So this is an amazing uh, feedback loop that we have in the community to see how our contributions are, uh, how our contributions are visually and how are they impacting us. So uh, you can get in here and if you click on set up praise, there's a whole guideline for how to install praise yourself. But if you want help on the services, understanding the cultural aspects of it, uh, how have we been doing? What are some interesting parameters to choose for your community? Uh, the common stack is here to help and just let us know and we can schedule a call, a demo and uh, walk you through praise. And one of the first communities that is implementing that is Gnosis. Well, uh, trying to because there's a proposal and the proposal is up for voting now. Start started uh, yesterday and will end on June 9th. So if you has if you have some uh, Gnosis tokens and you want to support this, jump in there. Uh, we had a, a huge engagement already, 124 votes, and they all seem to be for the implementation. So it's exciting to see that happening on Gnosis, and we'll have another community to understand uh, and improve also the product. So amazing times for praise and also, we've been having a book club. We're going to the fourth meeting 
Uh, this has been led by Ann Brody, and uh, it's a partnership with the Regen Foundation. And uh, we won the Panvala Activity Fund support. So we're distributing in the end of the book club uh, 200 Regen tokens and 1,000 PAN tokens. Um, we're raffling, so there's always two winners in each session. And um, the conversations have been so amazing because the book is Think Like a Commoner by David Boilier, which talks about how to do what we're trying to do, how to be a commoner. And the discussions coming up from there have been super insightful and we're understanding how to share them in the best way, how to engage more with the community. So definitely join, even if you didn't read the book, uh, the, the conversations and the topics that come up there are so insightful that uh, you can get led by the conversation. And with that, I'll pass to Ivy. Thank you, Olivia. Um, okay. Um, yeah, so uh, we definitely hit a home run this sprint with the promised prize, a uh, huge success. Uh, the grassroots economics was chosen by the trusted seed to be uh, the next commons, and the voter return is uh, very impressive. And yeah, congratulations to uh, grassroots economics. So in comms, um, yeah, we tweeted a lot of um, announcements and updates and voting parties and memes to promote the uh, common Price uh, finalists and uh, get uh, the trusted seed more engaged. Uh, we also hosted um, uh, an AMA for the common Price uh, finalists, so um, where they talked about um, how they would uh, uh, use the comments if they, uh, and how they would measure the impact of their comments if they uh, get the common Price. So it's, on our YouTube channel, if you haven't, if you missed that AMA and you haven't watched it yet, just uh, go to our YouTube channel. It's there. And um, so uh, this sprint, uh, we also successfully uh, wrapped up our uh, Impact Org's uh, campaign on Twitter. So um, we featured uh, several organizations trying to make a difference in the uh, web three space and uh, change the world for the better. So um, we have we we highlight like Antidote DAO, um, also Clear DAO and uh, Nori, just to name a few. And then on uh, TEC side, so in the legal working group, uh, we uh, we already posted the revised uh, covenant in the uh, forum, in the TEC forum, and it's currently now uh, in, uh, in the advice process. So um, if you have the time, uh, please check it and uh, provide uh, your feedback before we uh, proceed with, uh, with the vote. So yeah, that's all for me and I'll pass it to uh, Yine. Thank you, Ivy. So yeah, we're happy because we now have the name of the winning community that now uh, we're working uh, with during the next month. So um, yeah, in Comside, I helped a lot uh, with the uh, impact orgs organizations that uh, Ivy mentioned. And also uh, we, and when I say we, I'm referring to Usama and I, we lead a, re a really good uh, voting outreach campaign for the Commons Prize. Uh, we talked actually a little bit uh, about this uh, last sprint, but it was nice. And uh, we uh, continuously inf they keep informed our community so they can uh, vote properly, especially because uh, the issues we had with a snapshot at the moment, but uh, yeah. Just for that side. Uh, also, I would like to share my screen now so I can talk about um, your screen. We can talk about a little bit about our trusted C dashboard, which is almost, almost done. <laughs> we work uh, in content and the content for this uh, dashboard, which is uh, our gift for our trusted community so they can have 
this space to um, engage with a trust with trust to see the news and a community and also we'll have the opportunity to directly join and be part of uh, this great great community that is uh, trying to make a huge impact in uh, the web3 space and also in the public goods space so yeah this is for uh what we have worked so far during this uh, uh, two weeks. And also, uh, let's talk about uh, a little bit more about uh, trusted state stats. So as uh, Tan mentioned, we had 91 unique voters for the Commons Prize. That means 26.5% uh, of participation of our community. and. This is translated in 50.27% of trust involved there. So we're 30, 54 members right now, and we need you to become a trusted seat member and get trust so you can participate from now on in all the process that we will have with uh, our winning community that is uh, grassroots economics. The invitation as usual, apply, activate, be part of the commons, uh, the trusted seed, and of course the next commons <laughs> getting involved there. So with this, I will pass it to you, Sama. Thanks, Yeni. Uh, yeah, this sprint was awesome. I think we have discussed commons price as well. And for the commons prize, I will talk about like uh, like we have two voting rounds from the first voting round started from like 17 to 22 May and second voting round from 25th to 31st May. Uh, so we did voting outreach to all the trusted seat members and, you know, thanks to all the trusted seat members, like we have like 95 unique voters in the first voting round and in the second round we have 91 unique voters. So that's a lot of voters. And uh, secondly, uh, it, it, it's already discussed, so I will not go deep into that. So regarding AMA, our AMA went really well with like five out of five finalists joined our AMA and uh, they presented their nominations. A, a huge shout out to uh, Refido, Precious Plastic, Gravity Dow and AI Commons. Uh, they are some, they are runner ups and there are some amazing initiatives like we would love to work with all of them in the future. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn about these amazing communities, uh, you can just uh, head over to our YouTube channel and you know, check out the Commons Prize finalist playlist. Uh, so we have all the videos uh, where they are presenting their communities and uh, uh, they have also answered the questions uh, 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 that were uh, th that were by the common uh, common stack, and uh, secondly, then uh, uh, finally, I can say that you know been working uh, in the common surprise content for our Twitter and Discord channels, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's the sprint was awesome for me as well. Uh, but yeah, I would pass it to Rachel. Okay, thank you, Osama. Um... I'll start off with congratulating grassroots community for winning the Commons Prize. Uh, it was a long run and I'm glad they came out as winners. Um, we have a big project at hand, which is upgrading the praise system for Common Stack and Give It. And this is my very first project. And I'm working hand in hand with Tamara and it's been going, it's been going really smooth. We had um, our first praise kickoff meeting this week where we identified and assigned some key roles like the stakeholder, praise mentor, and praise lead. And we also had a brief demonstration led by Christopher. Um, he showed us the new upgraded praise system and with what he showed us, it's, it's going to save a lot of stress. It was really awesome. Uh, with the information we're gathering, we'll begin to develop the new praise protocols for deploying and upgrading praise system to give it and common stack. Um, okay, that's it for me. Uh, I'll pass to I'll pass back to Tam. Actually, I I can steal it. 
Uh, I, I usually, so at the end of every one of these calls, you know, it's like we get all the credit, we, we are the faces of the common stack, but it's a community effort and, and uh, it's a commons. So uh, I'm just going to get into all the people, just start praising all the people who contributed to what we just showed you today, uh, besides us. So obviously, just like even before this praise wrap starts, I want to praise Al Jean for transcribing it all and making sure that it actually turns into praise in the in, for the common stack in the trusted seed. I want to praise Will Ruddick for participating in the Commons Prize and dedicating so much time to promote grassroots economics to get his uh, get his comments uh, going. I want to praise Pedro for helping to set up the quadratic rank choice voting for our, for our DAO. It's a super cool system and and uh, something to look at on its own. Uh, I want to praise Vitor and Pedro for helping us calculate the results of the Commons Prize. I want to praise Rochelle for helping us put together the budgets. Uh, all those budgets, she does all the back end, all the work. I barely do anything. Uh, so major praise for Shell. Praise Joseph from Precious Plastics, John Ellison from Refi Dow, Wonka from Gravity Dow, Richard from AI Commons, and of course Will from Grassroots Economics for participating in the various AMAs and voting powers parties and getting everyone excited about their commons and really competing to win the Commons Prize. Uh, it wouldn't have been nearly as fun without you guys. Uh, without everybody. Praise Wonka, Lean, and Jeremy, and the whole Gravity DAO community for their work in bringing awareness to conflict transformation in the DAO space and for pushing uh, Gravity Training Round 3. It's so exciting. Uh, praise Gideon for all the work in Sampo and in the TC to bring financial stability. Also praise Zeptimus for diving into that, uh, as well as Bear 100 and Rex and, and the whole Sampo working crew. Super cool. Uh, praise Edu for the amazing onboarding work he does with the TEC and the proposal party today, which is exciting. Praise Nate for helping to structure the working group, uh, the stewards working group uh, compensation package and getting that going. Praise Christopher for turning praise into a product and the incredible management system and really like being the best product manager and product really product owner that uh, praise could ever dream of. Praise Mitch for being an incredible backup for all of that work as well as stewarding the rewards working group in the TC and just cat hurting the hell out of everybody. Uh, praise Matty G for leading the development of the reward system, uh, an incredible developer. Praise Nebs uh, for all the awesome backend work that he's contributing and Pedro who's jumping in to support the front end. Praise by V for the incredible work on the praise bots. There's so much, uh, we have so many rock stars and to say the least, we have Zue and Nuggin who are doing the rad dashboard uh, just together and it's it's looking so cool. Uh, amazing work in the reward system group. Uh, praise Boonju Boon for proposing the snapshot vote with Gnosis. Uh, praise No Planet B for drafting the actual proposal. Praise Anne for leading the book club and dishing out rewards and running the raffles. You don't want to miss this book club. It's really fun. Uh, praise Chewy and Popline for having facilitated book club sessions uh, along with Anne. Praise Niran and all the other Panvala stewards for their work to make the Panvala endowment so accessible to communities like ours so we can reward people with Pan during our book clubs and of course praise Austin AWS and the region team for their for also their support with the with the common stack endowment and the, and therefore the book club uh, praise Al Jean for all of her contributions to the Impact Org's Twitter campaign. Praise Teresa and Boonju for reviewing the revisions in the TC Covenant. Uh, it's cool to get an, a Covenant upgrade. Praise Christopher for leading the effort behind the Trusted Seed dashboard. Somehow he finds the time. Praise and Trusted Seed dashboard. And also praise, praise Christopher for the swag shop, which is going to be really cool. Hopefully we can show you that uh, next round. Uh, praise uh, also Brandon Keating and Dan 13 Ram from Rave Guild for diving in and doing the actual like, um, you know, uh, hands on, on, the, on the keyboard uh, work to actually code up the Trusted Seed dashboard. Thank you, Raid Guild. Uh, praise Joseph from Precious Plastic for submitting the, common, uh, the nomination for the Commons Prize. Praise John Ellison for submitting the nomination for Refi DAO. Praise Wonka for submitting the nomination for Gravity DAO. And praise YGG and Richard for their nomination of AI Commons. Seriously, they all deserve to win. They are all so cool. And hopefully we can work with them uh, after we uh, get grassroots going. Hopefully we can work with them all to get them commons. That's the goal. And also praise Christopher for uh, his incredible work upgrading the praise system. Uh, Christopher deserves so much praise this sprint. 
He did so many things. Uh, basically, everything that wasn't common surprise was like Christopher was doing it. So uh, thank you so much, Christopher. And thank you all for watching this uh, the review call. We really hit a home run. Uh, we're so this this sprint sprint 40. I'm so excited to see grassroots economics uh, become a commons. It's a uh, it's a total talk about a total different uh, opportunity here. The TEC, we were focused really with the nerds of the nerds. And now we're going into Kenya and we're going to support uh, community currencies on the ground. Uh, it's, it's a huge step for the common stack. And thank you so much for being part of that journey. Uh, bye, everyone.